excited to present today the study on 368 women who underwent nipple sparing mastectomy and immediate reconstruction after they'd previously undergone prior breast surgery. For this group, it was primarily looking at women who had previously undergone lumpectomy, but there were a number of women who had also undergone prior breast augmentation, breast lifts, or reduction surgery. The reason this is important is because we do worry when we do mastectomies, particularly nipple sparing mastectomies, that we may have an increased chance of complication if the blood supply is compromised, such as could happen with prior breast surgery. This is especially important in women who may have undergone prior lumpectomy and radiation, as their blood supply could potentially be even more compromised in this setting. What they found in this study was that actually rates of complications, which included things like nipple necrosis, incision healing or implant loss or infection were actually very similar in the group that had had prior breast surgery to those who had not. This really tells us that from a safety standpoint, we are actually able to think about offering nipple sparing mastectomy in women who've had prior breast surgery without worrying that we're going to cause them increased complication compared to women who have not had prior breast surgery. The study also looked at the oncologic outcomes, meaning how did people do from a cancer perspective after this procedure. What they found was that actually overall survival rates were very high, nearly 100% at five years. And importantly, there were no cancers that came back in the nipple areolar complex. I hear a lot from patients that is nipple sparing mastectomy actually a safe thing to do in people who have cancer, uh, particularly people who maybe have had prior cancer and now have a recurrent cancer. Um, and we see over and over again that nipple sparing mastectomy does not decrease the safety of the procedure, both from a complication standpoint, but also from a cancer standpoint, which is incredibly important. I think that this study overall adds to our growing body of literature that shows that nipple sparing mastectomy can be an option for many women. I really believe that there are huge psychological benefits as well as reconstructive and aesthetic benefits to doing nipple sparing mastectomy compared to non-nipple sparing mastectomy. As we see more women choosing to have mastectomy for a diagnosis of cancer, or more women undergoing genetic testing and finding out that they're at high risk and electing for prophylactic nipple sparing mastectomy, I think as much information as we can have to offer women on the safety of this approach is incredibly important. And I feel that this study adds to our literature and really helps support this for women with prior breast surgery. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed the article.